had a society where Christians were finally getting their minds right, you would have fewer homosexuals. Uh, most of them would be out of the picture. Well, that's the problem. We're not preaching the gospel. That's exactly right. We're too busy arguing about this stuff. And the no, Christian is no the we're, the because Christian. we're not really preaching the gospel. We're trying to convert people. Isn't that what the gospel is supposed to do? Then what? Now what? If the gospel, if it's all about just converting people, then we have mis we've misunderstood. We, you, well, you, what do you, you expect you, to happen? Got, the world to become a you, better place? You've got, <laughs> you've got people out there saying, all we're supposed to do is be about the gospel. That's right. Okay, do you have a job? Yes. So why, aren't, why are you wasting your time at a job? Well, I have to why don't you just preach the gospel? Well, because I have to support my family. The Bible is clear about that. No, you, you said it's all about the gospel. Well, why do you have any children? Well, why did I, you get married? Obviously, it's not just about the gospel. A whole lot more than that's that. That's the primary goal of the, of the Christian. The, no, that's the first step. That's the, how many children? You have what? Three. Three children. All right. So the gospel is akin to being born. Is that right? Right. All right. Jesus says you must be born anew. Actually, I think literally it's born from above. People have taken that as born again. John 3. All right. And then Jesus compares that to physical birth. Right. Right, okay. Right, right. All right. So if that's the analogy, then we should be able to draw some sort of lesson from the analogy. All right. All right. So when you when your wife gave birth, let's say that's the that's the gospel. Physical birth. She gave birth to one of your children. What did you do? Did you just move on and put the baby over here because now the baby had come into the world? What did you do with your baby? I brought it up. You, I mean, you were holding that baby all the time. You were feeding that baby all the time. That baby couldn't do anything without you. You wiped its front end and its back end. You did everything for that baby. And then you brought that baby up. And what is the goal? What is one of the first things you teach your children to do? Teach them to walk. You teach them to talk. You teach them to tie their shoes. You teach them all these things. You impart into that child all of the wisdom that you have. You impart into your child all the mistakes that you've made, and hopefully the next generation is better than your generation. So why, why is the new birth any different from that? Why is the new birth say, it's about the gospel, you convert people, but after that, we, we let them go? Because no, 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 it's about discipleship too. We, yeah, the next stage is discipleship. Gospel, okay. okay, so that's now we've gospel. moved from, no, it's not. The, the way the gospel is, is conversion, convert somebody. That's not discipleship. Discipleship follows well, the that. The doesn't just do that. It's a constant growing. We, can't do it. we don't ever get past the gospel. Okay. Well, now, now that's not the way they're using the phrase. They're using the they're they're using the phrase. We should go, be about the business of conversion. Conversion, but okay. we know it's more than that. It's so discipleship. You're they're the term. All right. Exactly. They're minimizing the term. They're saying, you know, it's just about the gospel. It's a reductionistic way of looking at scripture. It's just about, it's, it's nothing about but conversion. the gospel, not, nothing but conversion. But they don't, they're not consistent with that. And so, because they said, well, no, it's discipleship, it's sanctification. All right, how do you know when you're being discipled? What, what's the, what standard are you use, being used, are you using to be discipled? That you're, to know that you've been discipled, that yeah. you're growing in the faith, yeah. that you're maturing, that you're not the same way you were before, yeah. that you're doing more things. How do you Christ. How do you know? How do you know when you're loving your neighbor? And my neighbor's smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 13. But Paul quotes the law. He's quoting the law. How do you know when you're loving your neighbor? Treating you don't yourself. steal. Right. Okay. You don't. You don't take your neighbor's wife. You don't take your neighbor's stuff. You don't kill your neighbor. Yes. Yes. You don't lie about your neighbor. Okay. Paul quotes the law. Right. So how do you know when you're discipling somebody? You go to God, all of God's word. All scripture is God breathed mm -hmm. and profitable uh, for, you know, for teaching, for reproof, for training in righteousness. The man of God might be equipped for every good work. The gospel is not just about conversion. Is that what you're saying? Because that's broadening the view of the gospel. Look, if somebody that. wants to say the gospel is all about conversion, I'll say, okay, the gospel is all about conversion. We should, we should all be about conversion. Why do we have the gospel in the first place? Why do we need the gospel in the first place? We're sinners. The world wasn't, if there was no sin in the world, what would we be doing? Living a perfect life with Christ, though. Right in the garden? 
There's no would sin we, in the world? Okay, if, if we're only supposed to be about the gospel, all right, take away sin Working prior in the to the gospel, so I'm sitting around, I don't have anything to do now because it's supposed to be all about the gospel, and since I didn't need the gospel then, what, was I, what, was, what were Adam and Eve supposed to do? What were they supposed to do with their lives? Were they supposed to... Were they supposed, supposed to... to have dominion. Exactly. Yeah. So why is that, why is that different? Because we lost that. We lost that in the garden. It was messed up. We didn't lose it. It was messed up. Uh, was God, it a curse, though? God didn't say you wouldn't till the ground anymore. He just said it would be harder to till the ground. Okay. He didn't say he didn't say you weren't going to have children anymore. He said it was just going to be harder doing all that. So it's going to be harder to have dominion. It is, it is harder to have dominion. But we still have dominion? Sure we do. We should be.